And Vikings fans, listen. Get the shit out of your ears here and listen for a second, all right? When I talk about Amon Ross St. Brown and Justin Jefferson, I talk about value to the team. I talk about the guy in the locker room. And oh, by the way, he costs you about 15% less than Justin Jefferson and is capable of doing anything he does. That's where I'm at with it. That's why I still value Amon Ross St. Brown more. The total package, everyone. I know you want to get cut up in your linears and say, well, you got 140. I'm going to got 120. I don't care about that shit. I care about it wasn't an issue with St. Brown. I care about the locker room's not an issue with St. Brown. I care about he doesn't have a rookie that we don't know if it's any good throwing to him. And if it doesn't go his way, I don't have to look at Amon Ross St. Brown pouting on the sidelines and shit like that like I've seen with Justin Jefferson. So I like my guy that my team got, and I think we're just fine. And hey, the bottom line of it is, is you're married to J.J. McCarthy now, who has never played a down in the National Football League. That's the story, D-Mac. Well, I mean, to me, it's also, too, where I look at it, because it's Detroit also setting the precedence to get in early with their contracts so that it pushes every other signing up, right? It costs them money. What were we talking about yesterday? What What is not next year, but the year after and, when this contract goes into effect, what are... It's pocket- not awful. Like, it, it's not it's not awful. Okay, I expect but- it, like, in terms of cap percentage, I think he's going to be around 15% of the cap at, at, at its high end. So, they're married... To- no one's talking about this. They are married There's to J.J. Other McCarthy. Receivers that have to t- well, there you go, too, right? Because they, ha- they have to be with the rookie on the rookie contract and stuff. And this is Vikings' belief in him. Right, so we're gonna see. Yeah, is Je- Je- uh, Jefferson elite? I just like the fact that we Brad Holmes. To me, it's it's not only getting your guys, but getting them at a deal that works for your team, and it sets a precedence for everybody else to play catch up around the league, where we know that contracts will go up. <laughs>